morning. Thanks for joining us. For Local 3 News, I'm Brianna McLean. With these short days, more people may be experiencing seasonal affective disorder. Our sister station in Lansing has some tips to beat the winter blues. Yeah, when the sun comes down a lot sooner, it makes me feel a lot more sleepy with the moon coming out. It makes my body feel tired, and which is the case, it makes me, um, yeah, a lot slower. I think seasonal effect disorder is a real thing, so I think we're all feeling it now. Those feelings of anxiety around this time of year could be something else. Dr. Hannah Hoffman is a professor with Michigan State University. She says that anxiety and seasonal affective disorder, or SAD, could be hard to pick out. When the days get shorter, that you start to have a lack of energy, many people start to overeat, you are not as motivated, and you might sleep more. Hoffman explains that anxiety can boost feelings of depression, and the main difference between seasonal and long-term depression is once there's more sunlight, mood tends to improve. But what can someone do if they are dealing with seasonal depression? In order to boost your mood, it works better in the morning. So if you can get morning light soon after sunrise, probably around like 9 a.m. right now, if the sun is out, it's the best time to get out. It's in the morning to get that energy. Hoffman also suggests getting a light that mimics sunlight with a doctor's permission. As winter in Michigan just gets started, she says it's important to check in on yourself. This is your health. And if you overcommit, become too stressed and start to not be able to help or just take care of yourself, you can't help anyone else. Hoffman says you should talk to a doctor if you think you might have seasonal affective disorder to make sure it doesn't turn into long-term depression or turns out to be a sign of another disorder. Governor Gretchen Whitmer held her first COVID-19 news conference on Tuesday since June as the Omicron variant sweeps across the country. Whitmer says the experts predict the next four to six weeks will be tough for Americans. The governor urged all residents to get vaccinated and boosted. We wanted to acknowledge we are in for another tough Four to six weeks is what all the experts are projecting with the Omicron variant spreading rapidly across the country. The difference between the Omicron surge and previous waves of COVID-19 are that we now have tools at our disposal and we've learned a lot more about this virus. We know how this virus spreads. We know how to protect ourselves. We can take actions right now to be safer. So we want to talk. Thanks for joining me this morning. Now for a check on your forecast with meteorologist Tom Kippen. Thanks a lot, Bree. If you're on the go today or over the Christmas holiday, we have weather anytime here at Local 3. You can download our free WJMN Local 3 app, also online at upmatters.com, and that's where you can track any rain showers or snow showers on our interactive radar at the bottom of the weather page. And a social media is your thing, we're there as well. WJMN TV, and while you're on Facebook, feel free to search and check out our 906 Weather Watchers page, and feel free to join.